You're now less than 24 hours away from the crude Dragon launch at Kennedy Space Center tomorrow in Florida. I hope they can go off. Hope the weather cooperates. I do to a lot of people looking forward to this. The launch pad being used is the same one that sent Apollo 11 to the moon 50 years ago. A former NASA engineer you're about to meet has some special memories connected to that flight and is using his knowledge to inspire a new generation of scientists. Alex Ositis has the story. To see the evolution of where we are and where we where where we've been and where we are today i mean Frank Robinson had a decorated 30-year career at NASA. He worked on the space station redesign team, met astronauts Neil Armstrong, first man to walk on the moon, and Guy Bluford, space shuttle mission specialist and first African-American in space. Robinson's focus on safety and science presented a new opportunity after retirement, now working with the next generation, teaching through STEM to Hub. We try to make uh, science, technology, engineering, math, and medicine Fun for the kids. One of the groups he works with, Girl Scouts of Gateway Council, which is how we met May Trog and Melanie Wondrasek. Both studied at NASA's Goddard Center and have established an astronomy club. It was an interesting experience. It was a lot of seminars, but it was also interesting to actually get to go around the facility. We actually got to see part of the um, James Webb telescope. Wondrasek, who wants to lead teams in mission control one day, says the Demo 2 flight could open a lot of possibilities for future space exploration. Big time funding to come in if we really want to get to Mars, which is what keeps like delaying us back. And so I really want to see like all like the private companies start to work together with NASA. Reporting Alex Osiris, First Coast News, on your side.